Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to some more Discord submissions. I was going to record this video yesterday, but I felt off, so I decided not to. I thought I'd listen to my body. I don't want to be recording when I'm feeling like crap because it really will come out, like come across on the camera. So I thought I'll just leave it until I'm feeling better. I'm feeling good today, so I thought we could watch some of these. They were submitted on my Discord. You should go join the Discord if you're not a member already. If you have something scary to send me, go to the Scare Bass submission post it in there. If I react to it, I will give you a shout out. So two of these creators we actually already know. One is very new, but a lot of you suggested this one to me. So I'm guessing that it must be good. But yeah, without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into this, guys. So the first video we're going to be watching is from Valox, and this was submitted by Valox on my Discord. Thank you once again. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know who Valox is. For those who are maybe new to my channel, Valox used to do Backrooms videos, but now is works their way onto FNAF VHS, and they're doing a fantastic job because they're telling like the in-between gaps of the FNAF story that you don't necessarily see but you hear about and uh, I guess it's their little twist on what's happening and uh, this one's called Reunion FNAF VHS so this was recorded on October 28th 2023. In 2021 Henry and I opened an all-new Freddy Fazbear's establishment in hopes of reigniting nostalgia while also bringing the franchise to the 21st century. The main goal was to lure the spirits back to the building and end this once and for all but unfortunately the restaurant didn't see many customers due to the awful history tied to the name not helped by the pandemic. The restaurant was eventually sold and we moved on. So I'm guessing this is going to be like a pizzeria simulator story. It was Henry that came up with the genius idea to use that negativity to our advantage and start a horror attraction based upon the mystery surrounding the Fazbear name. Although we never saw success in the previous place as we do today with the attraction, there was one spirit that found the old restaurant and had been trapped there until today. I'm going to return to the place just after closing hours to collect Lefty, Thanks to a deal I managed to make with the new owner. I'm going to set her free. I will set us all free. So I'm get that this is probably going off the whole pizzeria simulator where you buy the franchise. Like Freddy Fazbear's Pizza has become a franchise and you can become, you know, a member of the franchise. Similar to McDonald's or Subway or whatever other franchises. Domino's a franchise, I think. I don't, I'm not sure. Anyway, without further ado, I am uh, running my mouth quite a bit here. Let's just jump into this. Here we go. So this is Reunion by Valox. So as you can see, we've refurbished a lot in hopes of bringing in more customers and reviving the Fazbear name. Okay, no, no, oh, no wow. pausing. You oh, have wow. really cleaned this place. Never in all of my years have I ever seen. Okay, so from the description, hang on, sorry guys, but from the description, this is an old location that's been made to a new franchise, like a new look. Fazbear name look as clean as this. I'll tell you that now. Yeah, it's pretty new. Although the one we have in the back, I just... I don't understand what don't Lefty get why is. You're in that scrap of metal. You know, it's on the inside that counts. <laughs> hey, hey, good one. Dead right. children. Don't worry about it. All right, where is, where is it? You should know where it is if you've Did been you know to this place before. Did you know this torture used to be an original Freddy Fazbear's dining area? Yeah, okay, you, uh, I own this place, mate. So the person behind the camera... Well, I didn't own it. The person behind the camera is Michael oh, Afton, wow. right? Yeah, I've never seen this design before in person, ever. What was he meant to be? Wow. Is he like a negative version of Freddy Fazbear? I'm... Oh. I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'm making my money back I off. wasn't talking to you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm too polite, man. I would never, never, ever talk to someone like that. Oh, my God. Okay. We're on a tight schedule. So if you could take it now, that'll be 13,250. 13,250. Just give me a second. Bro, you could get like a, a relatively good car with that. Can't believe you did what? It's okay. I get that you might need to film this purchase for your boss or something, but why exactly VHS? That she makes a good point. Why? It's 2023. Why is he recording with a VHS camera? Henry, we've Stuck done in his it. old ways. We've done it. I've gathered them all in one place, just like you said. Everything's ready. Um, she's in the back currently. She's you know, not happy at all. I do not blame her, but we cannot risk taking that one apart. She'll flee again. Mm. All right. 
That's brilliant. I'll be there tomorrow to set everything yeah, up. Thank you, champ. See you. See ya. <laughs> See you later. I'm about to have a barbecue with my family. Oh, here we go. Golden Thunder. So, Cassidy is the one that's inside Golden Freddy, right? But there's, like, the, the, the theory that there's two inside. There's two spirits. There's Michael's younger brother, because he was killed by Fred Bear, right? And then there's Cassidy, who was the fifth victim, I think, in the, uh, the first time round. Michael! Mike, Henry, Mike. Henry. Is this our karma? So who's speaking right now? There's golden text. We are so sorry, Charlie. Huh. I have already forgiven you. So Charlie was the first victim. And she was the one that's put inside... Um... The puppet. Punished souls tortured for 35 years. An innocent soul trapped for 39 years. A naive soul trapped for 37 years. Man. Were our deaths deserved? So the the one in white is Charlie. <laughs> Cassidy torturing William in hell. I will make him pay for what he has done. You have been torturing his soul. Does this make you any better than him? So white is Charlie. Yellow is Cassidy. Hal will show that to him. The others are already gone. Why are you still here? That's a good point. Because I never wanted revenge. I wanted you to forgive me as I have forgiven you. Wait, what was what happened between these two? This is our chance to rest, don't you want that? It's agonizing, but I'm giving him so much worse. Doesn't that just make you worse than him at that point? You deserve peace. We shouldn't have locked you out that night. I still remember the confusion when the lights went out. There was panic at the disco, was there? I still remember the sharp blade slicing through me eight times before I died. I can't imagine what you felt alone in the rain that night. You were so young. Charlie. Come and sit with me for a while. Wait, who's this red person? Leave the demon to his demons, rest your own soul, there is nothing else. Oh, hang on. So, is it... <laughs> Brilliant. I was confused. I'm a little bit confused at the end there, what, who that red text was. So there was two people talking to each other there. Cassidy, I'm guessing, and Charlie. Charlie was the one that died to the puppet, and I, I think I remember hearing Cassidy was like the fifth victim William just got sloppy with, basically. He would be careful with the first couple, and then the the last one basically just beat her to death. Like, he was absolutely disgusting. I guess that's why she maybe is the one that wants to torture him, because she felt like her life was snuffed out in such a brutal way that she wants to return the favour to him. I'm not sure who the red one was. If we're going off the theory that there's two spirits inside of um, the Fredbear, then maybe it was... What's, his, what's Michael's younger brother called? I want to say Joseph. I don't think it is. But yeah, Valox, that was very good. Keep up the good work. I'm not sure if there's going to be any more from this. I mean, I guess they're still burning down the pizzeria, maybe, that you could do. That was really good. Keep up the good work. So the next video 
is from Liminal Land, <clears throat> and it's called Investigation Tape Mummy's Friend. This was submitted by Chadalicious, so thank you for the submission. So as we know, Liminal Land, it's a very, uh, it's an ARG, first and foremost, and it started off as, you know, basically like a website where people were, lo like people were putting together lost media of this pack and like stories and first-hand experiences within the pack. But we learned from the last VHS video that people are kind of like adults are kind of getting brainwashed to go towards a certain ride and then they're found like outside the park somewhere. I think there's been three people. One abandoned their child. I've abandoned my boy! And the second was like a teacher, I think, who abandoned their whole class. And then the third one was a woman who basically kept turning the ride on, I think, or something like that. So there's some kind of force going on that that draws people to there. And I think they're found dead afterwards, if I'm correct. But then the liminal land itself, there's something really dodgy going on. Like before it was liminal land, before it was a theme park, it was like a nuclear waste facility of some kind. And it has a whole underground facility that they turned into home which, you know, they encourage people to stay for as long as they can. But we also learned that there's some kind of ritualistic thing going on there where a certain date at the pack, it completely ceased functioning after that. Something happened. And then when you click on that date and put in the password right of passage on the website, you're brought to a picture of like a deity or like a demon of some sorts. I think they're called Moloch. And it's like sacrificial it's like they have to have children sacrifice to them so my understanding is that the pack is alive i think that's what's happening here the the pack is alive and it would make sense somewhat because it's built on top of this nuclear wasteland so maybe materials that were brought in just started coming to life like the roller coaster itself i think there's one called the serpentine or something like that uh, that has to get covered and I, and I think that's because it's shedding its skin it's very strange but anyway we're going to jump on to this one now. You guys should definitely go check out the other videos. Um, I did a whole video looking through the website if you guys want to go look at that to refresh your memory. I probably should have done that before. Uh, but I kind of... A little bit of understanding here. So, recovered investigation tape focusing on the manhunt for Sophia Munoz. A story written by her daughter appears to be an incriminating piece of evidence, yet it's unclear if either of the two have ever been found. Mummy's friend. Okay. Okie dokie then. The NMSP continues their investigation into strange activity happening around Lake Valley, New Mexico. <clears throat> Last week, detectives received a tip directing them to the Munoz residence. <laughs> that, that, I wouldn't be able to say that voice seriously. What kind of voice would you need for this? <clears throat> this one, ready? Allegedly, Sophia Munez has been acting increasingly... No, that's erratic since her daughter disappeared under unknown circumstances. I mean, I'd be pretty erratic if my son or daughter disappeared without any... What the hell? Stop being mean, Ryan. Sophia Munoz, age 54. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sophia Munoz alleges that her daughter was last seen in her care at 504 Dorado Street. I love the way these are put together. According to her testimony, she ran away from home in the dead of night. The dead of night. Remember that game, At Dead of Night? Well, that was a fun game. I enjoyed that game. Oh my goodness. What's happening there? That just hair? What is that? During the incident, Sophia alleges that she was asleep in her bed and heard not a single sound to wake her. What? Mate, you want to change your sheets? Someone shut the bed. Detectives have been given no reason to suspect that Sophia Munoz is lying. Yet, what motive does Angie have to run? I don't know, she didn't get her a PlayStation, maybe? I mean, I'd run away. I'm, I'm joking, I wouldn't. 
During the most recent search of the Munoz home, drawings from the missing daughter were discovered. What kind of freaking skin a rink shot is this? Mummy's friend. Me. It's a story called Mummy's Friend. It's actually friend. Get it right? Come on now. Don't embarrass yourself. The discovery prompted an immediate manhunt for Sophia Munoz. Here she has fled her home. Ooh, okay, interesting. This is the story. Looking in the background there, is there something there? Mummy's friend, drawed by Angie. Would it be, okay, yeah. It's a, it's a child, right? This is my mummy. Your mummy is ugly. Jesus, she looks like one of those freaking, you know, one of those smiling, like, chocolate faces. Mummy takes me everywhere. Why am I... I just looked at my, my posture. I'm like, I'm like ready to attack. I'm like a lobster in attack position. Calm down. Come on now. Lemonland. Mummy ticked, ticked me to Lemonland. She should take you to school, eh? Can't even spell properly. I was so exited. Look at that little smile, man. But then, mummy made me sad. Mummy taked me in this house. Oh dear. Seems to be like scribbled out. Did she do that on purpose? Inside, there were more houses. So this was like, this is the underground um, part of Liminal Land, I'm guessing. That was called Home, which is basically just like houses upon houses. I guess always called Liminal Land because it's just, it's, it feels like it goes on forever and ever of just these weird, they sh feel like they shouldn't be there, I guess, houses. It's where people stay. And it's also, it was also quarters for old employees, I think, of the nuclear warehouse. Where? <laughs> nuclear warehouse. Mummy looked. All right, something's, um, why is she scribbling out the face? Like, like, she's actually, like, scribbled here. Like, I feel like someone's gone over this and scribbled out any kind of incriminating, I mean, I don't know how good of an artist she is for you to have to scribble out the face like this. I mean, the, the, we saw the art before. It was just a potato smiley face. So I don't know why you're covering the face up, unless this is meant to be hair. Mummy said she was looking for a friend. She goes about friends, guys. Follow me. It's okay. Okay, yeah, what? Well, someone's going back. If it, unless, hmm, unless it's the mum did that in a state of brainwash. Open the door. Inside was a mummy's friend. See, there's something's been scribbled out here. So I'm guessing this is incriminating things. Is that mummy's friend? I don't need... Ooh. Okay, well, that is a demon, if I've ever seen one. And well, it's, it's a horned thing. That could be Moloch. That could be like a, a manifestation of Moloch in like a half-human form. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to have a lower body. You know why it doesn't have a lower body? I just realized it does. It's, these legs is going out like that. So if you look at it side on, it's like a... Um, what are those things called? Centaur. And I think... Mo Moloch is actually some kind of a uh, cow. So I guess this makes sense, actually. Mummy's friend's a cow, eh? It's not the first time I've heard that one. We have reason to believe that Sophia Munoz was involved in the disappearance of her daughter. Angle! <laughs> oh my god. Stop jump scaring me with that face. All right, does anyone want to call this number? 505-666-4075. I was thinking maybe it could be, um, you know how, like, 
I don't know if, if you, you Gen Z young buck whippersnappers would know about this, but on an old phone, you'd have like you'd, the numbers, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, would represent words as well. Like one would be ABC, two would be DEF, etc. And you'd have to type in it a certain amount of times to get the letters. It could be something like that. I always, I always think of stuff like that, but it could also just be that the 4075 could be like a... Oh, I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass. I'm going to be honest, guys. Um, so that's interesting. I'm guessing it ends there. Oh, geez. From what I can probably gather of that, as we said before, when before the video began, the this pack seems to be brainwashing. Not brainwashing, but kind of like putting these adults into some kind of daze. It's some kind of like just, I guess, autopilot mode where they go like and abandon whoever they're with to go to these certain rides or whatever. I'm guessing now that it's got to the point where they're brainwashing the adults to bring the kids to them. And that's what's happening here. Sophia brought Angie there. But then again, who wrote the story? She obviously took her there, brought her back. Then she wrote the story and then she disappeared again. So she wasn't, nothing happened to her the first time she went there. But maybe after going there, she was kind of like, it was like a sleeper agent almost and could be awoken to go back there. But I don't know why they would let her go to then bring her back again. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows at this point? You guys probably have a better idea of it than me, but you guys should definitely go check out Liminal Land. Go check out the website. Go check out the past videos. It's a fantastic read and it's a really, really cool ARG, that's for sure. We're going to move on now, guys. Thank you for the submission. Okay, guys, so the last video we're going to be watching today was suggested quite a lot, uh, but these three people here were the ones that I spotted. So Wick, Hellhound Clown, and Gusfring, thank you for the submission. It's called Stranger Danger Puppet Show White Stag Education uh, by White Stag Education. One thing that caught my attention was Nexpo actually commented saying the series is awesome. You know, the, the whole puppet show seems to be uh, the in thing at the moment. Welcome Home kind of, I guess, spacked it up. I guess it's just a... It's... A mix of loads of different things, but it, ma it makes its own subgenre almost. So the whole thing is analog horror. That's the umbrella, right? Or horror. Then the subgenre is analog horror. Then under that is like different versions of analog horror. So you've got like the urban slug type where it's just criminal investigation, basically. Then you've got this one, which is like kid shows turned dark, like puppets and stuff. And then you got a uh, EAS, all that, all those other things. And I'm getting this in itself is its own kind of like I guess kids show analog horror is becoming popular in on YouTube at the moment, which is pretty cool to see. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this, guys. Go check out White Stag Education. This is the first time watching them, so I I don't know what it's about, but let's just play it. White Stag Education. That goes pretty well, doesn't it, that voice? Hello. Um, uh, 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 stop it! Forest Friends. Stranger Danger Special. Created by Luke Bale and Dav Sevy. Dav? Dan Sevy. Copyright is all the bargains! <laughs> stop it. Oh, Spat Simpson! I didn't see you there! I saw I you. What's your name? I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Hey. I can't wait to tell all the other forest friends about you. My new friend. Uh, hang on. Back off, dude. I don't know who you are, right? You could be the strange neighborhood kid who freaking shits in his garden like a dog. Hey, would you like to come camping with us? Yeah, sure. Why not? That sounds f safe. You would? Great. There's going to be lots of fun activities, like hiking and fishing, and you right, can get to meet Ranger Luke. All right, this picture back here seems out a bit out of place. Luke. Is it meant to oh, represent no. who this person is? That reminds me. I have to get packed. I'll be right back. You know what's interesting about this, actually? This could be foreshadowing, or it could be like, what does what it call it when it's the set's dressed in such a way? Or, for example, here, look, this looks like some kind of angel here, right, with the wings. And this is a kid here. You could connect the two, and then these two represent this guy here. 
know what I mean? All right, I don't need this. I this could be useful, but no. This doesn't Jesus. seem good to go camp camping with. Uh, Whoa! I don't really like this thing. Oh, bananas are weird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Old school freaking Tom and Jerry sounds. Oh, here comes Anna. Huh? Where's Rex? He's, Wait, uh, I don't know, actually. He's wrecking his house, you? I think. I've never met you before. I'm wrong. All right, I'm ready to go camping. Why are you scared? Oh, hey, a Anna. Meet my new friend. New friend? Rex. How do you know they're not a stranger? Well, Hey, listen, I'm going to say... Everyone's a stranger before they're your friend, right? No, maybe they are a stranger, but how can we know for sure? Let's go ask Ranger Luke. He knows everything about stranger danger. You're right. Come on, let's go camping. Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Old school, man. This reminds me of uh, yeah, the shows I used to watch as a kid. It was Rosie and Jim, but that's... I think that was a bit before my time. And then there was, uh... Tots TV. Max and I are here. Hey, guys. Hi, oh, Ranger. and then there was Muppy Top. Does anyone remember Muppy Top? I used to have a teddy bear that used to squeeze, and he'd go, Hello, I'm Muppy Top. <laughs> well, whatever happened to Hello. Muppy Top? <laughs> you guys are just in time to set up camp. Anna and I have a very important question. Alrighty, Rex. What is it? I met someone new today, and they seem really nice and great, but I don't know if they're a stranger or not. Like I said, everyone's a stranger. Like, you, what? Hmm. Well, I guess strange, stranger, I, I don't know. Well, they certainly don't look like a stranger to me. Thanks, man. Hi. I'm Ranger Luke. It's Hi. a pleasure to meet you. Yay! What a relief! Yeah, I'm so glad that I found an honest and true friend like you, and not a stranger. Say, do you guys remember the ways to spot a stranger? How do you well, spot a stranger? I, I need to know this. Not really. That's all right. We'll learn together with our new friend. Yay! No wonder you're going to get kidnapped. Oh, here we go. Bow, 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 bow. Remember that story from way back when? Oh, Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, but it's easy. Yeah. Didn't Red Riding Hood have like a an alternative ending? Oh, that's awkward. Silly goose. So basically what you're saying is strangers are wolves. You tell that to a kid. She was already dead. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a dude dressed as a wolf. Holy shit! That gave me that gave me chills. Okay, well, be sure not to. I mean, if they look like that. 
Exciting music. Look at the donkey's mind. Yeah. Canadian geese. Yeah. I think that's a, a raven. Apparently crows are smaller than ravens. And ravens have like a silvery kind of... I think the crows have got sharper beaks. Ravens have got longer beak. I don't know. Then there's jackdaws. I don't know the difference between them. So there's a killer out in these woods. What if the killer was the ranger? Because a kid would feel safe around a ranger, right? They'd go to the ranger. This hike is so much fun, Gleason. Oswald. Gleason? I agree, Oswald. But I'm exhausted. I've never been on a hike. This walking. <sighs> What is the, what is the, obviously there's health benefits to hiking, but what is the end result? Is it just to get out in nature and then is there like a point at the end where you go, oh, let's sit down and enjoy this view? Or is it just walking? Just hiking? I guess hey, it's the uh, exercise making you feel good, you right? know where we are? No, hmm. bro. The oldest tree in the forest should be coming up soon. Well, how do you know that, Oswald? I Dude sounds like, like Squidward. Walking forever. Sounds like a young Squidward. Well, Gleason, we've been following the trailblazers, so we'll be okay. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Map. Oh we no. False trail. Oh, you're on the big bad wolf trail. Wolf whistle. It's okay. Do you hear the melody? That means the strangers aren't hunting. What? Well, as long as we stand still and be quiet. Oh, okay. So th that makes sense uh, from the story that was told in the song that she heard birds, but there were none in the air or none in the sky or whatever. Is because it was someone whistling. Oh, we'll that's okay. creepy, bro. Strangers harmonize. <laughs> what the? What? Hello, oh, little piggy! And welcome to Mr. Gungus's Mr. game Gungus. of the day. I reckon he should have been German. Let's be honest. A German. Hello, my name is. <laughs> Today we are going to be playing Spot the Stranger. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Spot the stranger. That's a fox, right? That's a bear. Is that a fox or a wolf? I mean, it's orange. Can you spot the stranger? You spotted a difference! Um, I... Th this dude here? Is that meant to be the stranger? Oh my god, he was there? I can't believe it! It's like those freaking videos you get on like Instagram or TikTok where it's like, level one, find the archer. And it's like, easy mode. And it's like, is it easy mode? And then you look there for hours upon hours and you're like, not hours. And you're like, this is easy mode? What the hell's hard mode? What is this? There we go, there you are. That's a bear, right? Be careful of bear. We gotta be on the lookout for bear. They just hide in the uh, undergrowth, do they? Can you spot the adversary? It rives beneath the forest. What is it? Oh, hey, you up, go back. The burning swords protect us. Thank you for playing Mr. Gungus's game of the day. No worries, Gungus. See you next time. Oh, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. The sun is set. The day is old. 
But we can't rest until our stories are told! Okay. Now's the time of the night where we gather around the campfire and talk about everything we did today. So, Rex and Anna, what did you guys do today? Oh, oh, oh! Today, we went fishing! Yeah, oh, it was a lot of fun. I caught a whole lot of fish today. I think I caught the most. You may have caught the most, but I caught the biggest fish. Yeah, right. Well, what kinds of fish did you find? We caught some black banded sunfish, creek chub suckers, chub and suckers. even largemouth bass. We would have caught more, but we ran out of worms. Ah. Well, that sounds like a whole lot of fun, even if you did run out of worms. Yeah, we'll definitely remember the- Man, uh, being a worm or a maggot, having a freaking hook put through like your ass or your head, and then thrown out on a line, that is horrible. Imagine, imagine this, is, this is the equivalent, right? A giant picks us up, right? S puts our ass on a hook, impales our butt cheeks, right? Throws us out, and then there's just a big Cthulhu-esque creature underneath, lurking under the, the depths of the ocean, and it just comes up and... But then again, well, I don't Pack know. more for next time. That's horrible, man. Gleason and Oswald. What did you guys do today? We went hiking. Yeah. Well, <laughs> traumatized. <laughs> that didn't sound too enthusiastic. Did you guys have fun? No, they were killed. Well, we were trying to find the oldest tree in the forest, but we got lost. And before we even knew it, it was too late. We heard the strangers whistling. What did it sound like? Whistling. Stranger, danger. That's a catchy song. He turned around. Great job, Gleason and Oswald. Now, what would you have done if it wasn't a song they were whistling? We would have closed our eyes and ran away. Great job! Hooray! Always remember. Bro, he looked. He looked demonic. There. He looked absolutely demonic there. Hey! Always remember, strangers have no regard for your well-being. They aren't like us. Do not follow them into the woods, no matter how friendly they look. See you on another episode of Forest Friends! Forest Friends. All living things bound by a string Summer to In chorus, the song of the forest. It was like the Beatles when they were younger. Oh my god. Right. Stranger Danger Puppet Show. So, what? That was the show these guys represent children that were killed i did feel um yeah that felt very natural very v like something you'd find on an old kid show it's got that same vibe why is stag education so yeah the puppets represent the children and obviously these two went on a hike so these two went fishing these two were on a hike but they were all friends together so these two were probably picked off first by the strangers whistling or whatever. I'm not sure how these two went. I don't think that's... Maybe we'll find out. But obviously, um, the Grandwood Four were victims of an attack of some kind of serial killer or monster of some kind. But I'm guessing we'll find out. But it, it's super dark when it's done like that, where it's so friendly and like inviting, but there's undertones of just like especially where was it so this is a person my god this is meant is this the killer the stranger well there we go guys those were discord submissions by you guys thank you for the submissions 
Once again, be sure to join my Discord, submit me some scary things in the Scare Baz submission page, and if I watch them, then I will give you a shout out. But yeah, those were some pretty good videos right there for you guys. I hope you did enjoy. You should definitely go subscribe to each creator that was showcased today. Like the video, show some support, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.